Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tush coming at you from the Tush Mahal. 12:35 on Saturday, November 29th. Just getting back out into the garage. I've uh, been away uh, out west, uh, traveling on business for the week, so uh, good to be back. Got the little heaters on out here, just trying to warm it up a little bit. She's about uh, three degrees Celsius out here. It's about 38, 37 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's a little nippy. Uh, what I plan on doing in the next uh, day or two is uh, reinstalling the rear sway bar, which I've got on the table. Uh, it's got a few little nicks and scratches in it. I'd already painted it once and I already had it on the car once, so I think it's got a few uh, few scratches in it from where I was fitting the exhaust, the exhaust uh, before. Uh, what the plan is now is to uh, get under the car, and that's why I'm trying to get the garage warmed up. I'm sure that uh, nice concrete slab is nice and cold. Uh, I'm going to get under the car and we're going to take the old uh, race car exhaust off. It's uh, rusty and uh, it's not really appropriate for the street. It's a straight through. Um, I think it's got like a cherry bomb exhaust on it, but uh, not not uh, quite enough for the street. So we're going to uh, swap that out. I do have an exhaust purchase for it. I just need to buy some other piping to uh, hook it up. I've got it up there in that box. We'll pull it down and have a look at it. I did try to fit it run once and ran into issues of it uh, clearing the uh, rear sway bar, so we're going to have to do some uh, custom bending of some uh, pipe, I think, to get it up and over that sway bar. So what I'm probably going to have to do is, um, I'm probably going to have to do a wire template or something like that uh, that I can take to the muffler shop to uh, get the guys to bend a, a steel pipe for me. That's the uh, plan anyway, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look once we get the old exhaust off and we'll see what we need to do to get the new exhaust installed. All right, guys, that's it for now. Talk to you in a bit. No, no, well, you can see the old race exhaust, but there it is, the uh, pretty much straight pipe all the way back, and I've just got it sort of hanging there with wire, and it comes up to this short uh, collector pipe here. So anyway, that's what it looks like. So here's another look at that ugly pipe from the back side. All right, time to get that out of there. Okay, guys, there's a shot of the old exhaust. Pretty ugly looking. But she's off the car. So we'll uh, we'll get that replaced with something that looks a little bit better. Something that uh, is a little quieter. It may not sound better. depends on the sound you're looking for. I think it kind of sounded pretty good with the straight through pipe. It's just uh, I think the local police might have a bit of a problem. Anyway, on to okay, the next quick shot of the uh, replacement exhaust and uh, matches up pretty closely actually to the rear of the, uh, the race car exhaust. So this is a uh, pace setter uh, system um, and you can see that that matches up very closely and then just got the rear muffler section on it and the uh, stainless steel tips on it. So uh, we're going to try to run with that and I've got to get that uh, pipe at the front uh, fabricated. That one's just about had it. Um, the only issue with this pipe is that it interferes with the sway bar, so somehow we're going to have to bend it up slightly and over the sway bar. What I'm going to have to do is fit the sway bar and see uh, where the interference is. Maybe we'll be able to take this to uh, a muffler shop and get it, uh, get it bent slightly. So anyway, that's the next step is to uh, fit the sway bar and uh, then play around with this exhaust uh, and see if we can get it to fit better. All right, guys. Hey, good evening, guys. Tosh coming at you. Friday, December the 5th. Just coming up to 6.30 at night. Just got home from work. Just threw the heat on out in the garage. Got it cranked up. And we're back out here working on the TR3. And uh, didn't get much uh, further along than uh, we did last weekend. I ended up uh, getting company on uh, one night and uh, just didn't get any further on the exhaust system so I did spend some time uh, earlier tonight looking for the uh, fasteners for the uh, rear sway bar and that took me a long time I misplaced them I had to go through every bin went through twice after not finding them through the first run and then ended up finding them in this bucket down here under the table so I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I was doing there but uh, Anyway, we have the fasteners now, so we um, we can put that rear sway bar rock back on, um, and then we're going to try to fit the uh, exhaust system. And like I said, uh, I think I'd mentioned in my previous video, there's going to have to be some bending or some custom bending of this exhaust, that it's not going to clear the sway bar. 
once that's on there. So uh, anyway, the first step is to actually get the sway bar on there and then sort of work around the sway bar. And uh, we'll probably have to take that to an exhaust shop at some point and uh, get that bent up. But anyway, we'll get to working on the installation of the sway bar and then we'll uh, come back in a little bit. Maybe once we get that, uh, the tips on, the, t the, the muffler part and the tips on, we'll uh, come back and give you a quick shot of what that's going to look like out the back of the car. All right, guys. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, guys. Don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but the sway bar is installed. So it's a kind of a funky little arrangement there. It comes off the bottom of the uh, spring uh, plates and uh, through a bushing and then connects to the frame. And I'm going to probably work on those mounts, actually, because the old uh, previous owner had just a sort of lag bolts going up through there. I want to actually put bolts all the way up through the top of the frame and then plate it on the other side. So we'll work on uh, fixing that up at a later date. Right now I just want to get it on here to concentrate on the exhaust. So there she is. So we'll uh, play around with fitting the, uh, the rear of the exhaust anyway and see if we can get it up and over that sway bar. Not much room. Okay right, guys, I uh, managed to get it to clear the uh, sway bar, which is good. We got it up tucked uh, pretty up tightly. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's nice and tight to the bottom of the car without going to make the trunk uh, or the spare tire section too hot. So it looks pretty good. Got a little bit of clearance underneath the diff and I could probably get that a little bit uh, more clearance once I apply the clamps and get that front pipe on. We'll be able to adjust it a bit more. There's also a front clamp as well so uh, it'll uh, firm that up a bit. So anyway, it looks like I'll be able to get that pipe on and it looks okay I think. That's it for now, guys. We'll talk right, to you later. Just before we move on to the front of the car to try to get that uh, the front of the exhaust mocked up, uh, just give you a quick look at where the exhaust tips come out. So I think they look pretty good, actually. I think that's a pretty good position for them. So you got a little bit of clearance under the rear valence, which is good, not too much. So just enough to clear, enough to keep the heat off of that. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Clears the rear sway bar, and you can just see it in there. There's the sway bar. So we'll move on to the front. Alright guys, 